So my name is Natasha, um, and I'm here today to present our Brunswick West House. Uh, so before I begin, I'd like to start by acknowledging the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, the traditional custodians of the land on which we live and we work. We recognise their continuing connection to country, uh, and we pay respect to elders past, present and emerging. So who are we? Nardell Architects was established in 2023. Uh, we're based in Narm, Melbourne, and with a primary focus on inner city alterations and additions, we aim to create quiet spaces that invite repose. Millimetre precise design and a judicious approach to embellishment reveals a rhythmic, rational beauty that comes alive in built form when it creates and interacts with emotive and sensory elements. Brunswick West House is a three bedroom home. It's for a young couple who enjoy inner city living and all that comes with it. The challenges of working with a small allotment was understood from the onset, trusting that a well-designed home could meet their needs for comfort and amenity, akin to those found in the suburbs. Located in Balecki Beck, Brunswick West, the project draws upon its surroundings where the resulting architecture and interior design is a confluence of the site's constraints and residential context. Here you can see the street frontage to the north of the property and a right of way to the south. On a site of just 175 square metres and less than five metres wide, we had our work cut up for us. Design work commenced on the project in 2021 and it spent about eight months with Marybeck Council um, and it was completed in April of 2023, so roughly 24 months after sketching begun. The existing dwelling is what could only be described as a dilapidated, narrow, single-storey Victorian. The existing, existing home consisted of two bedrooms off the hallway to the front cottage with a separate dining, living and kitchen space at the rear. These images demonstrate just how far gone the home was. Reworking the original floor plan, the straight facing master bedroom flows into a dressing room and an ensuite. Every possible millimetre was sought and hard won with the support of planning and heritage consultants to maximise space between tight boundaries and achieve over height ceilings. As a result, we get what feels like quite a large and open living, dining and kitchen space. For example, the island bench is um, in excess of 3.6 metres, so it does feel quite generous given the constraints of the site. Now with three bedrooms, two bathrooms and an upstairs study, the clients have an inter internally voluminous home while still externally recessive with distinct spatial experiences on a small footprint. Characterised by logical volumes, maximal space and light, minimal fuss. Raw materials mingle with polished textures, subtle motifs, and apparently simple detailing. Individual site characteristics, heritage, and existing features are honored in fresh form, ensuring that the gentle enveloping presence makes it a home. Its heritage listed facade was partially intact, so to honor its original design, we reinstated period details. You'll see the fretwork, the roof, the timber window, and the front door. We also chose neutral rough cast um, render and galvanised elements to harmonise with the same era streetscape, yet stand distinctively. Internally, period features were selected sparingly for the front rooms and the hallway to continue the decorative dialogue and begin a series of spatial transitions. Cornices and a corbel arch give way to a minimal rectilinear ground floor extension at the rear with a setback second storey. The concept comprises of three pillars, contextual legibility, resilience and longevity, and human connection to nature. While simplicity is the foremost theme, aesthetically and practically, a deeper narrative resides in the building. The idea is to preserve and contrast in a juxtaposing marriage of a contemporary form to a restored characterful building. The neighborhood vernacular and the heritage can be read in multi-layered ways, with every hope that it will last with relevance another hundred odd years. The Daly Street Precinct, an area of historical and architectural significance for the Victorian period, is where the Hoffman Brickworks was productive for nearly a century. The opportunity to pay homage to this legacy was irresistible. Brick was chosen as a primary material for both durability and the opportunity to play aesthetically with what would otherwise be an often mundane material. We worked with two brick specialists um, and a wonderfully amenable bricklayer. The rear elevations curved brickwork and arched outdoor fireplace, achievable thanks to a surveyor determined to solve the design, quietly acknowledged the low relief wall arches of the heritage party wall. An interesting construction detail on this project was the use of brick snaps to the western facade. We were after a lightweight alternative that would allow a reduced wall thickness on ground level and thus maximise every available millimetre for the living space. 
The brick faces were cut off site and utilised a track and groove system to ensure that there was a stream streamlined install on site. The gaps were later mortared to ensure that visually the wall solidity matched the rest of the dry link. Another celebration of the many tactile expressions of brick is the hit and miss brickwork to the top of the staircase inside, where a door window provides much appreciated cross ventilation for upstairs living. We capitalised on the city views offered from the upstairs bedroom, achievable through incorporating a deep shelf, um, which allowed us to decrease the height of the obscured glazing. This not only provided unobstructed views, but it also ensured the privacy of neighbouring properties was carefully maintained. The brief demanded abundant natural light for a quiet, airy space was integral to the client when in connection with nature and the urban environment. Glazing and associated costs were prioritised in the budget for invaluable outcomes. For example, floor to ceiling glazing with sleek frames were used to the courtyard and backyard to let in as much light as possible from both the east and south, as these were the only areas where natural light could come in on the ground floor. Custom skylights with concealed frames were used to create a visceral sense of soft enveloping light to areas that would have otherwise relied on artificial lighting. The sunlight suffusing each space is a hero for both ambience and how it highlights the raw attributes of a concise material selection. <coughs> timber, concrete, and stone. The client strongly preferred natural stone, so to offset non-negotiable expenses, we selected a honed limestone with as lovely a luster as more luxurious, obvious choices. It was a collaborative endeavor, and one that wouldn't have been possible without the like-minded group of consultants we worked with. The project budget prioritized expertise and consultation from those whose specialty knowledge and or skills were needed because quality begets quality, and we feel it's important to design homes for longevity. Brunswick West House is a byproduct of years working, and most importantly, learning in residential practice. The project serves to emphasize the divergent interpretations between old and new, showcasing the de design's ability to harmoniously blend the two. Thank you for taking the time to listen, and I look forward to hearing your questions.